bien fuerte. what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel subscribe if you are new and yeah join the family so i do receive a lot of questions from you guys um about like how to start off a business and stuff like that and i never really wanted to do any business related videos until my business was like set good and you know fully grown or whatever because you know my baby's only two months old but um today's video is just going to be a few steps on what you need to do before starting out your business this is a video i wish i had when i was first starting off because i really had to do my own research for all this stuff so with that being said i do just want to make a disclaimer everything that i will be saying and mentioning in this video is all based on the research that i've done in the past i haven't studied accounting i haven't studied business well actually i did business in high school but like that was like fake it was just all about etiquette and stuff like that <laughs> but yeah i haven't studied business or anything so if i am wrong please correct me in the comments below you could also be helping someone out but yeah that was just a quick disclaimer so yeah let's get into this video so all the steps i'll be mentioning obviously come after you've you know selected what you want to sell and stuff like that all right so step one is to select your business name your business name needs to be something you know something catchy something different something unique and it needs to be memorable so once you've selected your name you need to make sure that it's available everywhere so you know do google searches search on instagram snapchat facebook search everywhere because you want to be the only one with that name and you also want to make sure you're the only one with anything similar to that name so for example if you want your business to be oh my gosh i'm really bad at this i need oh let's say you have an earring business and you want to name your business earring earring princesses right if there's a company with the name earring queens just forget about the whole name because because your business name needs to be unique you don't want people getting your business mixed up with other people's businesses so yeah you just really got to make sure that your business name is unique and available everywhere step two is to apply for an abn which is your australian business number your abn is a unique 11 digit number that identifies your business to the government with abns you're actually required by law to have an abn to carry out any sort of business well to operate your business legally <laughs> you will need an abn to get this abn for Anyways, as I was saying, to get your ABN, you will need a tax file number. Now, if you're a sole trader like I am, that basically means you work on your own, run your business on your own. You can actually use your personal tax file number for your business. But let's say your business is a partnership, so more than one person running the business, you will need to apply for a business tax file number. Let me tell you guys, for both these things, to apply for an ABN and also to apply for a tax file number, it's completely free there's some websites out there that be charging some dollars but let me tell you now you should never ever ever pay for an abn or tax file number i got my abn through asic.com i'll be sure to have that links down below um i use that website to apply for my abn and also register my business name i'll get into that a little later but yeah asic.com is where it's at with your abn you also need this to open up a business bank account so you know, it's really important that you get yourself an ABN. Step number three is kind of optional, and that is to register for GST, which is your goods and services tax. So if you don't know, GST is basically that thing that bumps up all your purchases and bills by 10%. So with GST, if you're turning over under $75,000, you actually don't have to register for GST, meaning that you won't need to charge that extra 10% on your sales and stuff like that. But I feel like all businesses will end up registering for GST at some point. So it's really just up to you whether you want to register from the jump or wait until you reach that $75,000 threshold. So it's totally up to you. It's not compulsory. So just whatever you'd like to do all right so step number four is to register your business name like i said earlier you can register your business name through asic.com as well on that website i'm pretty sure there's also a section where you can check the availability of your business name so if you've checked on instagram checked on facebook and no one has your business name there is a possibility that someone may have your business name but just doesn't have social media so it's always good to check on that website to see if 
your chosen business name is available or not. So to register your business name, it does cost money. Uh, from memory, I believe it's about $35 and that lasts for about one year. After that, you will have to, you know, renew it and make another payment. Um, but yeah, once you've put through your payment and it's been approved and all that, you will get a letter in your email, which will look like this. And then you just print it out and keep it with you. Just so people know it's for real. Like, this business is legit. So step number five is to register your domain. So your domain is your official website. My domain is www.tansialabel.com. Um, so when you register your name, you do have the option whether to get the .com or the .net or the .gov or the .com.au and they're all different prices. Your domain is super vital because everyone needs a legit website. When you do create your website, your website provider gives you a free domain. But I know for Shopify, because that's what I use, your domain will be like, let's say I didn't purchase my domain. My free domain from Shopify would be Latantio Label dot shopify dot something something and we don't want none of that we want our websites to look legit so personally i purchased my domain from godaddy.com godaddy is super affordable so i'd highly recommend that to purchase your domain and once you purchase your domain you can then link that domain you purchase to your website that you create later on after you've done all those things you should probably start creating your you know social media um, you know, so create your Instagram, you know, link your website to your Instagram and all that good stuff. Step number six is to build your website. This is my favorite step, the most stressful, but my favorite at the same time. So with your website, you have Wix, you have Big Cartel, you have GoDaddy, you have Shopify, all these website providers where you can create your website. I believe each of them offer like a trial period. I'm not too sure, but I know for sure that Shopify offers a 14 day trial period. So before I properly created my website, I did do the Shopify trial and I just found that it was super easy to use and I heard they got that fraud analysis for people that think they can come and do fraud on your website. <sighs> yeah, um, I just found that Shopify was super easy to use so I just stuck with it from the trial. I never really tried out Wix or anything like that so I'm not too sure what they have to offer. Shopify provides free website templates and this just makes designing your website so easy. Guys, before I created my website, I did not know that you had to pay a monthly fee to run your website. I always thought that it was just, you know, a one-off payment, maybe even free. <laughs> okay, no, that's a drag. I thought it was just a one-off payment that you need to pay off, but um, it's monthly, which is I, I don't mind. It's okay. It is what it is. Business is business. So I know with Shopify, they offer three plans. They have the basic Shopify, Shopify, and advanced Shopify. Um, I'll have a chart up here so you guys can see the different prices, and all of this is in US dollars, so when you convert it into Australian dollars... And then, yeah, after you've done all those steps, it's just down to now... Um, you know, taking your pictures for your website, buying your business cards, your thank you cards, getting all your products ready, um, figuring out what you want to use to, you know, ship your products and stuff like that. And something I do just want to mention, I was so stressed out, y'all. <laughs> Before I started my business, I was so stressed out about the whole shipping process. So with Shopify, you do post out your products through Sendle. Um, Sendo is just a provider that they have on the website but it's up to you whether you would like to use Australia Post or DHL or whatever it is that you want to use. So yeah, all that stuff is just done online and personally I purchased a whole lot of shipping labels and I use my printer, just my normal printer, to print out the shipping labels and the packaging slips and all that stuff but guys I would not recommend. <laughs> it takes so long and, and I'm annoyed because I purchased so many shipping labels like I purchased them in bulk. And the amount of money I spent on ink, like, it's just a bit much. So my recommendation would be this thermal printer up here. This is an inkless printer, and I hope that it prints out really fast. This is something that I need to invest in because this hot printer life is a bit much for you, girl. I can really understand before starting out your business, all that stuff is probably, like, hella stressful. But yeah, when you start actually shipping out orders, it's pretty straightforward on the website. So you just figure it out as you go, really. So yeah, those are just a few of the things that you need to start your business in Australia. But yeah, I really, really hope that I've helped some people out there. These are the steps I took to start off my business. And all this was based on the research that I did before starting out my business. So like I said, if I'm wrong, if I miss something, feel free to correct me in the comments. No offense will be taken. All of these businesses starting out, I 
I'm loving it. Like, I am loving it. Like, it's just so exciting seeing everyone, you know, becoming bosses. Bosses. <laughs> and really building empires out here. Like, everyone's really doing the damn thing. And, you know, I pray for prosperity in all of your businesses, you know. Um, always pray, always stay faithful. Yo, I really had to learn over these past few weeks to just let go and let God. Because... <laughs> I've been going through it with my business <laughs> but you know it's okay I trust God's plan for my life I trust God's plan for my business and yeah I've just let go of all my worries and let go and I know God's gonna pull through for me so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you haven't already turn on your post notifications so you're notified whenever your girl posts I love and appreciate all of you guys and I'll see you in my next video pretty girl at a mercy she said she with a friend, cause she